Stop motion in multiple platforms. Shooting square and horizontal at the same time. Right here on the Slant Lens with Trisha Zim. In today's lesson, we're going to learn some great things from Trisha Zemp about stop motion. We're also introducing today her new two and a half hour workshop on stop motion. Some great techniques on how to light, how to use dragon frames. So get over to thesunlens.com, check it out. Hi, this is JP Morgan. And I'm Trisha Zen. Today on the Slanted Lens, we're going to show you the making of a stop motion logo for B&H. Yeah, so today we're going to actually teach you how to shoot square and horizontal so that you can use your video on multiple platforms, being Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all the things because you'll have multiple options. Do clients ask for that very often? All the time. Every single time you deliver a video, well, I deliver a video, I deliver a horizontal, and a square. So they want everything to be able to work in both of those formats, 16.9 and square. Uh -huh. Sometimes there's an exception, but that's the case like 99% of the time. So it sounds like there's two different ways to do this. Yeah, so what we can do is we can take that 16.9 ratio and then we can just crop into that. Okay, so you got all your motion going in the 16.9, but you've also got the, the key elements in that square. Within the middle, yeah. In we kind of keep the key things in the middle. So for example, in this one, the logo for B&H is in the middle of the square. But on Which the sides, perfect. we have extra logos. You'll see that in the horizontal, but you won't see that in the square version. Okay, so what's the second way? So the other way to do it is you have your 16-9 ratio, but when you do your square, you kind of crop out of that ratio, taking up the height of that 4-3 sensor. Okay, that makes sense. So you got your 16 uh, 9 across the sensor, but then you just use the height above and below in the middle. So there are some things there you won't see in the 16 9. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's actually really fun for clients when we are working on our stop motion, we can see our 16 9 and we can see our um, square in the middle that takes up that full sensor. And sometimes, because you don't see it, we actually make different things happen down here than we do on the sides. So it's actually a little bit different for Instagram than it is for YouTube. So you get a little extra kind of motion or something kind of fun mm -hmm. happening in that area in the yeah. square. Normally, it's just extra background. So like when we shot, we shot a pie video recently, um, a tart and it was just extra wood background. So you just let the wood bleed up. So mm -hmm. it just becomes a, a horizontal 16-9 cut a crop, but or you can just bleed up and just see the white bleeding off. And yeah, the exactly. And sometimes there's animation, sometimes it's just background. Okay, that makes sense. All right, well, let's get to the B&H logo and let's make this happen. Awesome. So what we want to do is we want to make guidelines for us so we can see the horizontal and the square that we're going to be shooting. If you look at this frame, everything in here and over here is part of the 4-3 ratio, but we want to shoot within the 69. So this white bar right here, if we're in dragon frame, we can turn on and off those guides. Okay, so this is the frame. We can come in here, we can turn on our 16-9 guides. Also, if we look at this um, icon right here next to it is a slider we can actually turn off our view of the 4-3 so we're just seeing 69 so we can toggle that over here to turn that off but now we want to focus on what is the square on the inside and let's figure that out so what we want to do over here we want to draw some guides so we're going to come down we're going to choose this square guide we're going to draw ourselves a square and we're gonna hold shift so that it stays at a perfect square. We have this guideline that we've created and now we just are trying to make sure that it, um, it is in the center of our frame. So we have this square that's kind of showing us where things are. I think it looks pretty close. I'm just gonna do a quick guideline change so we're in these, we have the, our grid up, but I want there to be a line to go straight down the middle so that I can make sure that we're lined up. So I'm actually gonna come and I'm gonna click on grid and I'm gonna add another section so that we have that middle layer right there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come back to our drawing tool, I'm going to click on our square and I'm going to make sure 
that everything is perfectly square. So this guideline, this blue highlighted guideline right now, that is our square. We can actually come over here and change our line width and color. So I'm gonna change to just be a little bit thicker. And I think that the white really pops against our concrete. So we'll keep it like that. We can turn off these grids. And now we know that this right here is the square. And then everything we see right now is the horizontal. There's our full frame. There's our horizontal and then there is our square. So we actually do need to do a little bit of reformatting of this B&H logo before we get shooting to make sure that everything fits perfectly within that square. So there you have it, how to do different formats when you're doing stop motion. So we learned several things. We learned how to format our frame so that we can shoot square and horizontal so that you can use it on multiple platforms. And a few other tips and tricks along the way there for Trisha. So, but, maybe, but if you want to see the entire process from start to finish, plus a lot more tricks about how we do stop motion, how we choose our frame rate, how we move our objects, then check out our stop motion download because that is where all the information is. She's gonna take this little B&H logo that we did and show you exactly how that whole process was broken down from start to finish, including the editing. Yeah. So it'll be worth it in that digital download. Awesome. So go to thuslandlens.com where you can find that digital download today. And check out JP's Facebook page. Absolutely. Join our Facebook group where you can post your videos, your images, you can get some feedback from different people from the Slant Lens and other members of the community. Also, if you create awesome stop motion videos and you wanna put them on Instagram, tag us, tag the Slanted Lens and at Trisha Zemp and we'll give you some feedback. Absolutely, make sure you tag us and we look forward to seeing your stuff. And keep those cameras rolling. And keep on clicking. You should subscribe to The Slanted Lens. It may not save your life, but why risk it? Just push that button right there.